Psalm chapter 10. A psalm of confidence in God's triumph over evil. Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? Why do you hide in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. The wicked boss of his heart's desire. The wicked boss of his heart's desire. He blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. The wicked in his proud countenance does not seek God. God is in none of his thoughts. His ways are always prospering. Your judgments are far above, out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he sneers at them. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue is trouble and iniquity. He sits in the lacking places of the villages. In the secret places, he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly fixed on a helpless. He lies in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to crush the poor. He catches the poor when he draws him in his net. So he crouches. He lies low, that the helpless may fall by his strength. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face. He will never see. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up your hands. Do not forget the humble. Why do the heathen renounce God? Why do the wicked renounce God? He has said in his heart, You will not require an account. But you have seen it. For you observe for you observe trouble and grief to repay it by your hand. The helpless commits himself to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness. Yes, Lord, seek out his wickedness and you you find man. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations have perished out of his land. Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will prepare their hearts. You will cause your ear to hear to do justice to the fatherless and oppressed, that man of earth may oppress no more. Lord, Lord, you have heard the desires of the humble. You will prepare their hearts. 
you will cause your ear to hear. To do justice. Yes, Lord, to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed. That man of the earth may oppress no more. That the man of the earth may oppress no more.